starting to rust off here. Hopefully the lighting isn't too bad. Um, good morning. Uh, BK here. Um, it's a, it is a weekday. Um, I had to work remotely today because uh, I had to get my vehicle uh, looked at. It's got some misfiring going on, so getting the reasons for that diagnosed so we know how to repair that. And uh, on my lunch break, I decided I'll go ahead and shoot some stuff for the next vlog entry. And uh, that today's vlog will be about uh, the pedal board again. Um, for a couple of shout outs, uh, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please like the video. Um, go to our band camp, check out our music. If you can spare some money, buy our music from us there. Uh, band camp's the best way to support us. Uh, by buying our music and then also you know streaming it on your preferred services second to buying it on Bandcamp those are helpful too and then from there uh, you know come to the shows whenever we play in your area uh, come see us and then there that's where I sell merch presently is uh, like teas and stuff like that so uh, and speaking of on that note uh, tomorrow night Friday April 28th uh, of 2022, I will be playing in Burleson. Uh, I will be playing during uh, a break for uh, Denver Williams and the Gas Money. They have a four hour set at the Old Tavern Brewing uh, restaurant and pub, if you will, or bar, restaurant and bar in Burleson. A uh, four hour show, so I'm going to give them a break. I'm guessing probably midway through it, and they'll be playing from 8 to midnight. So, you know, if you're in the Burleson area or not too far from it, come check out Denver Williams and the Gas Money, and somewhere in there you'll get to see me play an acoustic set. So, all right. Uh, with that being said, again, uh, please like, subscribe, um, and check out our band camp. Let's look at the uh, do-it-yourself. Um, oh, oh, I did remember something before we do end this part. I did last weekend uh, do a... Uh, five-year anniversary performance at Slim Pickens Outfitters um, and I did get video of that and as soon as I have time I'll, I'll start editing that and getting that together and sharing that with you um, probably prior to that I'll try to edit and uh, put together some of the footage I got of their five-year anniversary so uh, they had launched in March 2017 but then had their grand opening April 22nd of 2017 and BK and Understanding, we officially launched at their grand opening on April 22nd, 2017. So, anyway, now let's check out the pedal board. All right, looks like we're recording. Okay, this is the top of the pedal board, which was not seen in the last pedal board video. Um, you know, in my apartment, I don't really have room to set up anywhere for this tripod I'm using to get the full pedal board <laughs> in, in one view. Like, that's how crammed my apartment is. That being said, um, I've got some lights on. Let me, let me try to move this a little bit just so you can see the whole, you know, kind of get a sweep of the, the board. Alright, so... This one, I have not plugged in yet, it's the newest to uh, the lineup. Good Why? Here. It's a new neighbor, a Merce reverberator. This has a wet reverb, a hall reverb, which is a really good one. I like, I love that one a lot. A plate reverb, a spring reverb, classic spring reverb. Um, and then my favorite one on here is the Shimmer, and they have two settings for the Shimmer. That's my favorite one on this. Uh, and then it has an Echo Plus, so Reverb Plus Echo, so give you a little bit of a delay uh, effect, but not it's not a delay pedal. And then my second favorite one on here is probably the Detune Reverb. That creates a cool effect. Um, but the Hall is an, another favorite of mine. So it was the Shimmer, and having those two different Shimmers on here that made me want the pet this specific pedal and also the quality of the reverbs oh here comes Ashton uh, the quality of the reverbs on uh, done by new neighbor are excellent and so I knew this would be a great pedal it's kind of a best of reverbs 
that they offer from their stuff. So, really cool pedals. But that'll be going on today. We're at where Ashton is climbing around. Ashton the cat. Um, okay, let me point. So, I'll go ahead and start naming off some of these pedals. See, but this may be all we have time for today in this vlog. Get another next go round. I'll try to show you me plugging in the Immerse or something. But anyway, I wanted to show you, give you an update. So, uh, right here, that one I can tell you can see. Uh, that is a, an Earthquaker Devices Organizer pedal. It's a modulation pedal, and it creates an organ effect on your guitar tones. Okay, here, this is a really cool pedal. I got this several years back when I was still a high school English teacher. This is an Ibanez CS9 stereo chorus pedal from the 80s. I got it brand new just a few years ago. And uh, what, what happened is there's a guitar shop in Weatherford, Texas that I love to go to. And they were, they were my Louis years and stuff for over a decade until I moved to the other side of Dallas, uh, Fort Worth. Anyway, I had gone in there and they had this old beat up box uh, containing this pedal in their pedal uh, cabinet. And I asked them about it and said, oh yeah, we found that in our storage. It's left over from the 80s. So it had been sitting overlooked all the way since the 80s. So this is, it's a brand new but it's all the way from the 1980s, so this is a CS9 chorus uh, pedal. I had to get that. Couldn't pass that up. And like I said, here's that new neighbor Immerse. That'll be new to the, the board. Okay. Um, and then you can see here, I do have a noise gate. I will admit I've not been using it because I haven't... haven't when I originally got it, I got it to deal with some uh, noise issues that I was having that ended up primarily being because of the cables I was using and the power supplies. Those two things, fixing those two things cleared up my noise issues. Now I do have some noisy pedals and we'll get to those in a minute. But pretty much all the noise issues are gone so eventually I'll go in and I'll use their app, uh, TC Electronics app, to adjust this to where it'll be useful for me specifically again. But right now, I still have it on the board. It's running through stuff in case I do go to some gig and have some kind of noise issue, and then I can turn it on. But it's the Century Noise Gate by the TC Electronic. Okay. Um, what else can you see? Um, you can see the Wampler Ethereal pedal. This is uh, this one of my favorite pedals. Um, it is a combination of reverb and delay. It's a delay and reverb pedal is what he calls it really beautiful reverb on it. In fact, that's what I mostly was using it on the past couple of years was the reverb because I have a Boss DD7 digital delay um, so I didn't necessarily need uh, the, the, the delay. However, this one does come with a, uh, a little dusty, uh, what do you call it, a tri-note or whatever. It's been a while since I've thought about the term. Uh, featured. I, sometimes if I'm wanting that effect, I will just skip going with the DD7 and just use this one. Plus, again, has a beautiful reverb. It, the reverb on it is similar to a Hall reverb. It may be a Hall reverb, but I would say it's somewhere between the reverb and the shimmer, leaning more toward the Hall reverb. Uh, and then I have a cheap volume pedal that I got because I needed one years ago, but I was on a budget. It's by Donner, so I'm still using that. I haven't had a need to upgrade it. I will say when I adjust it, it create, just creates static and it's made out of plastic. So, you know, I'm, I'm not real brutal with it. But one issue I do have with it is that it creates noise when you go up and down and that might be a collection of dust and needing to be clean, but I have a feeling it's not just that. This is the oldest pedal I have on my board. It's also a favorite of mine. It is a Boss Overdrive Distortion Pedal, an OS2. Um, I've had it since the 90s. It was given to me by a man named Chris, who was my uncle at the time. Um, we are no longer related because he had married in the family, and the family he'd married into married into the family, and so, you know, we're no longer related. But I still have this. I still use it. It's the first pedal I ever had. and. 
I'd love to see that guy again one day, just to thank him for giving it to me and, and to tell him how his pedals made it on my board all these years. And this has been used a lot, even on uh, the album I went in the studio to record with Peter Wieringa, uh, uh, starting in December, January, and February. And then I'm still working on it. Um, so this is featured a lot. Any song that has heavy distortion, this is going to be on it. And then a newer distortion pedal I have. Let me see if this... I'm going to move this again. Hold on. All right, so left off here. This is a Grunge Epic 69 by DoD. This was made famous uh, when Nirvana played on MTV. I think it was the Loud and Loud and something. I can't remember the top of my head, but... Uh, famous uh, perform MTV performance. This was featured on Kurt Cobain's soundboard. Now the legend is he didn't actually use it in the performance. It was given to him as a gift by DoD and he just thought it was so funny because of he hated that Nirvana got called grunge music. He didn't really like that. And so it was humorous to him. He thought it was ironic. He liked it. He put on his board for the irony and sarcasm it's rumored he didn't actually use it. Some people argue that he did, but general belief is that he did not actually use it. But that being said, it became an iconic pedal even if he never used it, and it does have a very grungy sound. This is the noisiest pedal I have on here. Um, I mean, it creates a lot of noise. It's argue whether or not it's a distortion pedal or a fuzz, I think. I mean, it creates a lot of noise, so eventually it may end up on my, I'm planning on having a fuzz row. But we'll see. We'll see where it ends up. Okay. Next to it, I have a cheap um, modulation pedal. You, so my modulation section, as, as usually goes, really is is after these uh, distortion pedals. But I went ahead and moved this one up front because sometimes I like to have modulations going through the distortion, and it creates a slightly different effect. These get covered up rather than being stacked on top and it creates a slightly different effect. This is made by Donner as well. It's an, it's called the Alchemy. They don't it's a, uh it's out of print if you will. They don't make this model anymore as the last time as 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 far as the last time I looked. But it comes with gosh let's see one it comes with chorus, flanger, phaser, tr tremolo, pan, rotary, U vibe, and vibrato. And it has two different versions of each of those. So that's what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you really have like 16 pedals in one. Plus, you can adjust the rates and things just like each individual pedal might have. So that's why I ended up wanting it in the first place. Plus, I like the alchemy name, you know, the reference to like, you know, fantasy and sci-fi, that part of uh, literature and stuff that I relate to and the pre-science thing, you know. Uh, it's kind of a mythology, you know, it's a very mythological thing these days, alchemy. But anyway, um, I wanted it for that, but one of the things I found that's wrong with it is the chorus, flanger, phaser, those three for sh well, especially chorus and flanger, uh, when you hit your notes, it causes clipping um, on a clean tone. So I put it in front of here preparing for me to get something better to put behind my distortion section because I mean it's it causes clipping might as well go through the distortion section anyway so I really only use this uh, nowadays specifically to put distortion on top of or overdrive if I want to just use it as an overdrive pedal. Okay continuing on um, here is a Catlin bred Galileo this is the Mark I, the first one. And it is a treble booster and gain pedal in one. Now they have a Mark II out and it's, you know, look, it's this shape and it's black. It still has this logo, um, but, you know, colors, this, it's black and then this is gold. So they flip that around. I think they may have added some, updated the logo here, but the difference is mainly that this is a preamp pedal and the, the new one, the Mark II, is just a treble booster, a, a top booster, if you will. This one acts as a preamp because you do have your top boost, but you also have your gain, and there's more options here. You can mix the two and, and have, get some good noise, or you can just use the top boost, 
or you can just use the gain even. So uh, at first when I got out, I wasn't real impressed because I didn't know how to use it, but now that I realize it's a preamp pedal, I put it up here, it comes in handy sometimes. Um, it sounds almost identical to a Vox Brian May amp that I own. I will say uh, the Brian May Vox amp comes with the setting with a heavy distortion and once you go into that mode it leaves this behind the dust with the heaviness of the distortion and all that. But if you're just in plain mode this will sound exactly like that amp. So they did an excellent job because both modeled themselves after uh, Brian May's famous sound. Well, he used him. He and his father built an amp that he uses, and he runs it through a Vox, Vox ampl uh, amp amplifier. All right, here's the Keeley Compressor Plus. Had this. This is a uh, one I got years ago after launching BK Understanding. And the reason I like it is it does have a sustain. I will say there's some things I don't like about it. It's not a perfect compressor, but it is an excellent compressor. And the things that I don't like is that the way I like to use it when I when I hit try to use it on clean tones, you really notice like the pick itself is amplified when I when the pick goes across that string, it, it really is amplified, and it almost causes like a reverse echo effect for a second. That part I don't like, and it could be that you know I just need to continue practicing with it more. But you know again I'm a singer songwriter, so I don't like to have to think about those kind of things as much so um, it I like it a lot it's gonna stay I'm gonna keep using it I'm a fan don't get me wrong but there are some things I don't like about it this is one of my favorite pedals it's right up there with um, ethereal I think I actually like this more and I think I even like it more than this even though I love this because it's a great distortion overdrive but the boost this is made by eager electronics which I've been messaging him here and there over the past few months and he hasn't responded I don't think he's even making stuff anymore the guys name name is Alex eager out of Arizona and he had eager to hear podcasts that I was featured on years ago but he had started eager electronics and he was making some really great pedals this is a clean boost Okay, this is one. This is probably my favorite pedal I own. It, it I use it on almost everything, and it just it sounds so good. It makes everything a little, a little bit louder, but it's it's clean. It just makes it fuller. I absolutely love this. It's and then cleverly titled Boost. You know, like it's got the ghost on here. And so, Alex, if you see this, man, please contact me back. I still would like to buy that sexy overdrive pedal from you. That. Uh, we, we had talked about it several years ago, and if you're still making pedals, I'd, I'd love to keep dealing with you and buy them from you. And maybe make a deal with you. Uh, promotional deal, or whatever. Anyway, um, amazing pedal. I have never found these on Reverb, so good luck. Uh, if you trust still mine, you will pay. <laughs> anyway, it's a great pedal. And then next to it, I have a uh, Electro Harmonics uh, switchblade. It allows me to run uh, into multiple amps, and that runs directly into my Boss DD7, which I think if I just turn this a little bit, you'll be able to see. Yeah, uh, DD7, which I have a foot switch for, and that's what I do. That's why this has stayed above all. It is an amazing digital delay, but there's there, you know boutique ones that are a little bit cooler to look at. I've been tempted to buy over the years, um, but this one has stayed because I love their foot switch design on this one. I like that. I actually prefer this style of switch on my pedals um, over this these styles. I mean, it is nice to hear that click. It's metal. This is it, that's got its perk, but I love this style of press more myself. Anyway, so great. I've had this. This is probably the second. This is either the second or third oldest pedal on this board that, for me on my collection. I bought it years ago when I was a, a church musician, hoping I'd be able to use it. I had a at the time. I still have the Gretsch White Falcon. That's I still use it. But I'd gotten that, and I had a Vox AC30, and I got this early on and the Switch. Um, I don't remember which one of these I got first because I also have that chromatic tuner above it. Uh, it's a Boss uh, TU3, which I'm not even going to bother showing you. I mean, those, those are pretty basic. Um, anyway, but I'd hoped to use back then, and then I just never was allowed to really 
used my electric guitar and stuff. They always wanted me to play acoustic guitar, and I was just always kind of pigeonholed um, and, and for that. And that's another reason I'm so glad to be away from that place where I used to play music. Just that restrictive thinking and stuff. It's real common here in Texas that just drives me insane. And just the uh, underappreciation of individuality and uniqueness and creativity and things and just like that arrogant well you're really only good at this so we're gonna pigeonhole you that kind of stuff but anyway I never really got to use it but it comes in handy now it has a reverse uh, reverse uh, echo or delay it has an analog setting in here that sounds pretty cool and it has a modulation in it that's come in handy a few times but then it has all these millisecond uh, delay settings and then you can adjust that on top of that where you can you know, set uh, tempo through this, and that's what I really love. But anyway, that's uh, that's it. I really don't use this crybaby wall that was here at the beginning. Um, I do have it on there. I want to practice with it, but I'm going to replace that. That one was given to me. I've already noticed it drops volume, uh, the volume signal, just by running through. Like, if I try to use it, it just drops the signal, and I hate that. Um, and it, it I, I'm not real impressed with it. So I do plan on replacing it. This one may need some repairs or something. I don't know. Something may be wrong with it, but I'm not impressed with it. It's real heavy and clunky. Not a fan, but it's all I have at the moment. Anyway, that'll probably be enough for today. And then I'll try to get some footage of me putting this on and later on show you some footage of me playing. All right. Thank you. Uh, again, uh, here I am. Let me uh, close out by saying... Uh, you know, thank you for watching. Um, please follow us here on YouTube. Um, please like this video and go and watch other ones and like it and show us some support there. Uh, if you can spare some money, buy our albums from our band camp. Uh, that's the best way to support us financially online. Um, eventually, I do plan on offering more uh, physical media and stuff. But at the time, I'm such a small, uh, a small setup. You know, it's ba BK Understanding presently is basically me. And so, uh, you know, I'm only selling merch at the shows right now. I don't have uh, the support to get my website up and running. I don't have the time to run it myself. And right now, I'm doing everything. <laughs> anyway, uh, please like and subscribe. Um, check out our band camp. And if you are going to be in Burleson, Texas on Friday, April 28th, between 8 and 12, come to the Denver Williams and the Gas Money Show, and you'll get to see me uh, play during one of their breaks. And uh, please keep an eye out for future shows and future videos and future music. Good stuff's coming. It's going to keep getting better. All right, take care, guys. Thank you.